Friday morning is coffee and dance time at this church in Miles Platting. But when the dancing and socialising is done, the food bank opens, offering pensioners the chance to stock up on supplies. It makes a bit, it makes a bit, bit different, you know. It doesn't matter, I don't, I mean, I never take a lot anyway. Just what I need. Does it save you money? Well, it does, yes. Yes, it does, yes. That much what you would have spent on that food can go on something else, maybe gas or electric. Much of the food here is supplied by the charity Fair Share, which tackles food waste. In 2016, it said 13% of its clients were over 65. Researchers at the University of Manchester say they've been shocked by the number of elderly people turning to food banks. I think there's a bit of a myth around how wealthy older people are. So if we look at the data, about one and a half million older people live below the poverty line. And these are people who've lived their lives on low incomes, perhaps juggle debts and low paid jobs. And eventually in old age, it can catch up with you. In Miles Platting, the Friday morning food bank doesn't just meet a financial need. It's built into a social event, which helps tackle loneliness and isolation. I don't really go out much during the week, so this is the only time I come on Friday, so it's a bit of a help for me. We meet lots of people and we're all different age groups and we all try and stick together. The University of Manchester Research concludes that the government needs to do more to tackle food insecurity amongst the elderly and that tackling social isolation will help prevent food poverty amongst pensioners being a hidden problem. The government says the reasons behind a rise in food bank use are complex and welfare reforms will lift many people out of poverty. Researchers say schemes like this one, run entirely by volunteers, will become increasingly important. Peter Marshall, BBC Northwest Tonight, Manchester.